Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a cinemagraph outside. Hey guys, my name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Welcome to Flurn. We are a Photoshop and photography community and today we're out in the rain making a cinemagraph uh, because we care about you and we do awesome things just for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's really not that hard. Um, the part that's going to happen in camera is super easy and then we're going to show you next episode how to do the Photoshop part. So basically I've got my camera set up here. I'm using a 70 to 200 lens with a, with a 5D Mark II. There's traffic and stuff going on in the background. Um, but basically what we're going to be doing today is shooting in video mode. So if you have a camera that shoots video, uh, that's really great. If you don't have a camera that shoots video, you can shoot in stills. Like if you have like a, um, a multi-sequence fire, like the um, high-speed firing. But it, it it's not going to be as good. Um, the reason is because this in video mode can capture like 24 or 30 frames per second, sometimes even 60 frames per second. Oftentimes if you're shooting stills, you're limited to probably 5 to 10 frames per second. So you really want to shoot in video if you can. I know not everyone has a video camera, but if you do have a video camera, you really want to go for it. So we're recording Amelia. She's going to be uh, blowing some bubbles. Do you want to? It's beautiful. <laughs> the reason why we're doing this is because you want an action that's going to be repeatable over and over again. So Amelia blowing these bubbles, basically it's just going to be the bubbles that are going to be in a continuous stream over and over again. So getting that looping effect is really what makes it. If you had, for instance, like someone walk by the frame, the animated GIF we're going to create at the end, which is the cinemagraph, it just loops it over and over again. So it would be just maybe the same person walking by the frame over and over and over again. So whatever you do, make sure that when it does loop, it actually does something that makes sense. And uh, so that's why we chose the bubbles to do today. So I'm going to go back on the camera and we're just going to hit record and over and over and over again, we're going to focus on our subject, hit record like maybe three to five seconds worth of video. And then we're going to bring that into Photoshop after. Cool. Let's see some bubbles. There we go. That looks awesome. So that's all there is to it, guys. We're just going to record a few more of these over and over and over again so we have something to choose from. And uh, just remember to keep your camera in video mode if you do have a video camera. You can even use an iPhone or something like that. It doesn't have to be digital SLR. It's just going to get your quality a little bit better and do something that looks good when you're looping it over and over again. Thanks so much for watching Florin, guys. This is the end of Cinemagraph Part 1. Join us tomorrow for Cinemagraph Part 2. Florin, you later. <laughs>